Hello my beautiful Gemini Dragons, welcome to your reading for November 2021. I have pulled out two overall energy cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. The cards that have come out for you today are co-create and clean it up. So what I'm hearing from this is that you are looking to move ahead and looking to um, to do things. Now, here's the funny thing. So those of you who are new to the channel, or if you've missed the ones where I say this, guys, I'm a Gemini. I'm a Gemini Sun, Venus, and Mercury. So I have, I'm a triple gem. And so I hear this pretty loud and clear. I can apply it to my life. Not right now, but I can hear it. So if you guys um, resonate with what I'm about to say, hit that thumbs up. Give me a like or send me a comment. I do post them. I just try to cut back on the spam so I don't approve spam. But what it is is it's like Geminis are so good at having ideas and getting things going and getting everybody like energized to do it. What we aren't so good at, Geminis, is actually finishing it and cleaning it up. And I get the feeling like there's things in your life that you need to start sort of cleaning up. I, I sort of see like bows tying, like tidying um, ends, right? So it's it's about just just making things sort of neat and clean and trying to get things, some things completed because you are in a, in a you're entering a very big creation phase. And, um, and, and if you look at this, it's so funny because you have a cheetah and an owl. So, and the cheetah is just sort of sitting there, not even looking at the owl. The owl's sitting there, not looking at the cheetah. So it's almost like you're trying to create something, but it's not going to happen until you clean up another mess. So you have to take care of something else in order to get these to actually start looking at each other. Okay, so because you have the cheetah I hear is right now is movement and the owl is wisdom. So in order to get your ideas moving, okay, you need to tidy some things up. Okay, Gemini, so it's a pretty, it's a pretty good reading. Uh, you guys just need to <laughs> clean it up. There we go. Let's get some cards for Gemini, please. No, a card flipped. Let me see what one that was. There we go. Oh, another one fell. Come on, guys. Keep the cards on the table. There we go. Oh, okay. It's okay. Let's get more. Oh. Okay, so let me just get the card that fell. There we go. Okay, so let's see. The first card to come out, just a second, that was like that. So I'm trying to remember to... Uh, I'm getting very picky with myself as I take reversals sometimes in reading. So now the cards can take on both meanings, okay? It doesn't really matter. So, or all meanings. So... What we have here is we have the Ace of Wands. This is the first card to come out. So the Ace of Wands is about beginnings of ideas. So I think that you do know what you want and you know what you're wishing for. You have the Nine of Cups. You're you're seeing like success. You want, like this is everything that you want and hope for, right? Now, here's the thing. You're leaving behind this Knight of Wands energy, this reverse um, and I feel like you had some sort of a delay, okay? Something has been, um, something has been put to a halt. Something has been stopped. And it was a delay of something that would make you happy. So, but I feel like you have a new idea on how to do this. And this is what you need to tidy up, okay? Now, you are bringing in, so we have this knight, this sort of, sorry, king of swords energy along with the queen of cups. I feel like you are, um, and I'm going to clarify this, but I really get the sense to just speak to this the way it is. I get the feeling like you are really, um, you're really finding your, your gentler side through this. Like, I feel like this Knight of Wands was a very big 
energy, but you're moving past it. It isn't a big energy in your life anymore, right? Because I really just want to, I'm getting this feeling of just putting my hands here and saying, no, you're not even here anymore. Now, the King of Swords is, I feel like you've just mentally become so, like, you've just become yourself, right? And it's okay, like, being Gemini, right? Being anybody, but especially Gemini, because we are the twins, you can have the two sides. I think that you're really finding that it's okay to love and to be love and to be affectionate and approachable, okay? Which a lot of times Geminis aren't because we're very intellectual, right? But I think that this King of Swords is also, you're, you're, you're cleaning up your emotional and your mental states. And you're really moving ahead with this energy. Um, go ahead. Can you we clarify, please, the Queen of Cups? I'm trying to say something, and I'm hoping that... I'm, I feel like it's not a complete story yet. Yeah. Yeah. So, because I... I am too scattered still um, in my mind to... Yeah, okay, so... So, your Eight of Wands has come out. Okay, so... What this is, is... Once you start to clean this up, and you're figuring all of this out, okay? Once you master who you are, things are going to move fast, okay? And, and, and everything is gonna be working in your favor. Justice is going to be served, okay? Whatever you're putting out, you're gonna be getting back, but everything is in the upright right now. Your four of wands, you're gonna be celebrating. You're gonna be having big celebrations, okay? This is one of the most positive cards in the deck. And as soon as you come into this emotional and intellectual power and you're in this mode of tidying things and cleaning things up, you're propelling everything forward. You're going to be bringing on and putting in, um, I'm really seeing here like the wheel of fortune, right? You're going to be like, everything is going to be moving in your favor. Um, but I, I really feel that you have done this. You've been the one that create that has created this momentum. That's the word I was looking for in your life. You've done this, okay? And it's going to be happening quickly. And you have this beautiful four of wands. So you're going to be coming into um, communion, not communion. You're going to be coming into communication and drawing in the people that are part of your 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 community. Okay, you're going to be bringing in everything um, deeper. Like you're just going to be moving ahead so quickly. You're get, yeah, like you're just yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm speechless. I can barely find a word. Mm. Let's see what this is. Yeah. So this Knight of Wands, right, pretended to be a King of Cups. Okay. Um, and it's funny, I'm hearing that, I'm hearing that, so here's two stories, guys, or maybe it's the same one. So this night of ones, all of this had to do with somebody who had come in pretending to be, and maybe you thought that they were, uh, it's like, maybe you thought that they were something that they weren't, okay? Maybe you thought that they were actually really an amazing, like, the, a dream come true in, in a human to have as a partner. And I get the feeling like it isn't with this Knight of Wands energy. What I hear is not the same person. This is also going to propel you forward because, look, we have the Queen of Cups. What I heard is what you thought was going to be here is actually going to be here. So you are going to be bringing in your um, divine counterpart. Now, when I speak to this, it is cups, so it is like huge love energy, okay? If you're not interested in that, you could be bringing in like just the most amazing friend you ever had or the most amazing and uh, business opportunity you ever had. It's about emotions. So if you're creative and you're an artist or you do something, you're going to be bringing in this partner and you guys just like, you just work together so wonderfully and emotionally well. 
Okay, it's 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 one of those connections that it's just like I've known you all my life, and it's like, and it's a heart centered connection, whether that turns into love or not, whatever. Okay, but it is this beautiful energy that you are drawing this in, and you're going to be getting over what you thought this person was. Okay, this other person back here, not the same person. Okay, definitely not. Not once you start to clean it up and you start to master this and see everything for what it was because you want to co-create and you realize that this is not like this is such past energy notice how i don't want to i don't want to move this cut card over here again so i had to speak to it here but i definitely had to move it over okay gemini so let's see can we clarify this king of cups we got the seven of cups so you're going to have choices and options, right? Because here's the thing is you get into this energy. I really feel like you're going to be quite attractive at this time for anything, just for energy. Okay. Yeah. The 10 of cups is coming in the reverse situation. So what it is, is it's, it's not that it's, um, it's not that it's not happening. It's just that I feel that um, I feel that you're being called to watch the choice you make because it might take longer than you think for this to actually come in. So it's funny because you're having all this forward movement really quickly. And then all of a sudden we have the King of Cups and we have this sort of, this sort of hesitance. Like all these cards are hard, cards of being hesitant. So I feel that you need to um, step back and maybe look at what, uh, this is just a slowing down energy for the Ten of Cups here. I'm not getting anything. I, and I feel that you need to make sure that you make the right decision to heal from everything that you've been through. Because this is beautiful, but then it's like, you know, things get going, 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 then it's like, <gasps> So I think you need to make sure that you don't create your own delays. Make sure you stay in this energy, okay? Now, please remember when I talk about queens and kings and knights, it's just energy, okay? It's just masculine and feminine energy. It doesn't mean that it's a male or a female. So if you are indeed a masculine watching this, okay? So if you're a male watching this, okay, you're you know, the person that you're looking for could very well have that King of Cups um, energy. You want somebody stable, right? Because after this, you definitely want King of Cups energy. I just hear you've been messed around with enough. Okay, one more. Then I'm taking the top card if one doesn't come out. Okay, good. Yeah. So, guys, the hate card came out. Okay, now it's so rare that this comes out. I feel like, I don't think this is your energy, okay? Um, or you need to, to release some of the hate that's going on because I think that this is what this might be. <sighs> ah, I just got it. You really, really hate what this person did back here and you're being asked to release it all. You, you need to get past that. Um, and to move on and you may hate what they did to you but you need to make sure that you don't give this any more energy than what it deserves because the more that you give this energy to this background situation this this past situation the more that you're stopping yourself from moving forward okay learn right understand you know what they did and how um, and how they sort of snuck into the cracks to do what they did. But um, don't hate it. Try to learn from it and just say, you know what? I forgive myself for letting this happen. You know, I forgive myself for having too much faith in them. I had forgive myself for, for thinking that they had more potential than what they did. I forgive myself for not seeing things clearly, right? So, and it's not about what they did to you. It's about sort of just just getting boundaries, right? It's building those proper boundaries. Okay, Gemini, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in your next reading. Thanks, guys.